News Real, real news, real quick. Former President Donald Trump warned that President Joe Biden's decision to send M1 Abrams main battle tanks to Ukraine could bring the world closer to a nuclear conflict. Quote, first come the tanks, then come the nukes. Get this crazy war ended now. So easy to do, unquote, Trump wrote on his social media platform Truth Social on Thursday. The 45th president has argued in the past that the conflict between Russia and Ukraine would never have happened if he were still president. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis called for, quote, new blood, unquote, at the Republican National Committee, or RNC, and has backed Harmy Dillon, who is challenging Trump-backed RNC Chair Ronna McDaniel. The RNC's 168 members will vote for a National Republican Chair on Friday afternoon at the winter meeting at a seaside resort in California. Twitter owner Elon Musk made a surprise visit to House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and House Democrat leader Hakeem Jeffries at Capitol Hill on Thursday to make clear that Twitter intends to be fair to both political parties, but also to fend off suggestions of censoring or trying to break up the social media giant. The National Archives on Thursday asked former U.S. presidents and vice presidents to recheck their personal records for any classified documents after President Joe Biden, former Vice President Mike Pence, and former President Donald Trump all had such documents in their possession. Freddie Ford, the chief of staff to former President George W. Bush, immediately responded saying, quote, Thank you for your note. We understand its purpose and remain confident that no such materials are in our possession, unquote. Democrat Congressman Adam Schiff of California announced on Thursday that he will run for the United States Senate in 2024 for the seat from which 89-year-old Dianne Feinstein will likely retire. Schiff was the lead prosecutor in President Donald Trump's first impeachment trial and just lost his seat on the House Intelligence Committee for what House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says is a lack of ethics. And finally, Governor, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp on Thursday declared a state of emergency following violent protests in Atlanta against the construction of a police facility and the killing by authorities of an environmental protester who is said to have shot a state trooper. And that's the way the world is. See you next time.